Hello, my name is Caroline Cardinal. I am an application scientist for molecular devices. And in today's video, we're going to have a look on how to add a new graph section to an existing protocol. So in order to add a new graph section to an existing protocol, you need to go in the top menu into the section area and need to select new graph. The plot editor window will appear and you can change the name of the graph. You will have one plot by default and you're going to be able to add some if you need to. So here we're going to rename that plot and you're going to be able to choose from the groups that are inside your protocol. Then you can choose a column from that group for the x-axis and a column from the same group for the y-axis. If available you're going to be able to choose to add error bars. Here we're going to choose a standard deviation. You can then change the symbol style, the symbol size, and the line style. You can also change the color for the plot. Then you click OK, and you'll see that the points have appeared on the graph, and you can now customize your graph. You're going to be able to change the axis label, and here we can change the concentration. And for the y-axis, we're going to choose mean OD, which is what we have plotted for that graph. You can change the font size, change the different scales. Here we're going to change the scales of the y-axis so we can really see the top of the curve. Then you can change all the options. Finally, we're going to be able to change the curve fit. We have 17 curve fit to choose from and for that curve fit we're choosing the four parameter curve fit. Below the graph, you see that you will have all the parameters describing your curve, their confidence interval, the R square, and the C50.